Hello guys, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube channel. Yes, uh, you know right. Recent days we are you know uh, discussing about the various important uh, uh, technologies and comparing few stuff. Today we are going to compare about configuration management tools. Of course, there are lots of tools in the market, starting from Ansible, Puppet, Chef, uh, Salt Stack, SSCM, like various tools are there. So which one is right for your infrastructure and uh, which configuration management tool you guys need to study for your career? and interview preparation okay that is what we're going to talk today we have a satish here we have a ravi here so these are the people right uh, gonna discuss about the various tools i hope end of this video right you will get the clear clarity about which configuration tool we need to prefer for our environment okay let's get started guys so we have satish as usual he have a various questions he attended lots of interviews he captured the questions from configuration management tool perspective i'm handing over to satish so people before sati start go ahead and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this okay fine sati it's up to you start ask the questions welcome team yeah before starting the discussion if you please tell me about yourself hari yeah so myself hari i'm having around you know uh, five years of you know uh, experience uh, when come to devops especially so other than that right i uh, daily right i closely work with the configuration management tools like ansible you know and the another one uh, project i used to work on puppet so another one project right i used to work with salt stack so i have exposure on all this uh, configuration management tool so this is you know quick uh, basic about me okay come to the technical part um, yeah first question uh morgan this is for you mm, okay uh ravi this is for you uh, uh yes yes so this you can tell hey, can you hear me now mm, yes uh, now your voice is audible to us Oh. Uh, could you please explain what is configuration management? Uh, Why configuration is important? Mm, sorry, actually, I'm getting a lot of interruption. You're right. Now it's clear, right? Mm, yes. Now it is better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are the key features for Ansible? Puppet and Salt Stack management tool. Um. Okay. And then uh, coming to Ansible, it's a agentless architecture. Agentless architecture means um, we don't want to configure anything in the backend nodes. We don't want to touch anything. Uh, sorry, any missions. Without touching the mission, we can simply expose the connectivity and then we can perform anything across the VMs. Okay. So this is something called agentless architecture. And coming to Ansible. Um, you know, here, if we are going to set up an infra, we can simply define it in a YAML script. Okay, so we don't want to you know, do any complex coding. If we know YAML lessons, we can simply execute it. Okay, so you know the, you know about the Ansible. So there is no complication is that. Uh, simply, you know, easy to use. And, you know, SSH communication is, you know, suitable to perform the activities if you go and set up an Ansible lessons. And coming to Puppet, um, it uses, you know, DLS, sorry, DSL, okay, so declarative language to uh, describe the system configuration. And and coming to Puppet, right, it have an agent-based, agent-based mechanism is there inside um, of a Puppet. You have to configure the package in node machines. You have to, at the time, you know, first time, first uh, uh, infra setup. First time execution, you need to configure the package in backend nodes. Um, after that only we can perform because it's an agent based tool and a salt also, salt stack also having a similar thing. And you know, coming to salt stack, uh, it's speed and efficiency too. And uh, especially, you know, in large scale environments. Okay. So, and then, um, uh, uh, yeah, so and then it's highly scalable also. Salt stack is a highly scalable also. Yeah, yes, bro. Uh, these are the things, uh, key features I got in these three things. 
ओके प्रमोद नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हरि दिस इज फॉर यू या मोगन साइड की फीचर्स फॉर एनसेबल प्रॉपर्ट सोर्स का राइट या योर टेल व्हाट इज कंटिन्यूएशन मैनेजमेंट व्हाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट इन आईटी ऑपरेशन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन या या so yes it's a uh, simple and very important uh, you know question uh, when you go any environment right uh, people are using lots of you know uh, um, many many other you know uh, stuff many servers they will use okay so in that uh, what will happen right uh, it will be easy when you have a configuration management tool manage all these servers and things and stuff otherwise you will have to do one by one one by one all those stuff okay so starting from the patching updating any application or updating any softwares okay sometime uh, ansible also can act like you know infrastructure as a code for infrastructure or uh, integrating with the pipelines all those things are very very much easy and flexible so if you are not having a configuration management tool in your platform it will be difficult for you to spend more time in installing any package you cannot do the bulk updates uh you cannot do any you know running any uh, customized description on your server okay those kind of things we will miss uh, it will become time taking process so by having us a, a, a configuration management tool in our environment it's it's time saving we can do a bulk activity we can group the resources we can do grouping activity so these many advantages are there actually that's why we need configuration management tool in place okay and next one could you please explain uh, how do ansible puppet and solve stack handle configuration if can ensure the desired state of system did you understand uh, can you come again uh yeah, explain how do ansible puppet solve stack handle configuration if can ensure mm-hmm. the desired state of the system okay okay desired state of systems yeah so yeah we all know uh, the particular you know uh, ansible right it using a playbook okay so in the playbook uh, we will have to define that state of the system okay any any configuration or changes whatever will be done through the playbooks only okay so online ansible uses playbook for uh, taking care of all those desired state of system so when come to puppet right uh, you know it's a client server model Uh, so whenever uh, you are updated something in the server right it continuously enforces uh, through uh, puppet manifest okay so we'll have a puppet how we call it as a playbooks over there here we'll call it as a puppet manifest using that we will be doing things and stuff solve stack right uh, it's almost you know uh, work like uh, it's it's i would say it's a bit more faster comparing ansible and puppet personally uh, also uh, it's kind of you know using similar approach as like uh, puppet only okay so these are the way all these configuration management tools are ensures the desired state of the system okay, okay. next one ravi what are the advantages of using ansible puppet or solve stack for configuration management mm, yeah okay um coming to ansible uh, it's easy to learn first of all okay why because you know we are here we are using yaml template to set up an infra or as we are integrating with the uh, cloud okay so we are using a yaml template that having a simple simple uh, structure so that it's easy to learn and it having an as, as we discussed as we, as i said uh, uh, it's an agentless architecture and this ansible is suitable for um, medium sized or small sized environments okay so these are the things in ansible uh, coming to puppet here we are using a declarative language and uh, strong community support is there okay so if any help uh, if we need any support or something like that in the sense we can ask to them they will uh, find out that issue and then we, they will give support to us and yeah so monitoring capabilities and you know, all these things is there in puppet and coming to solve stack um, it's very speed and efficiency that you know and uh, scalable architecture is that okay so scalable ar- architecture is that and uh, okay so here also uh, supporting things are supporting thing is that if you wants to configure any things uh, if you getting any issues at the time of configuration something like that in the sense we can connect with the backend team they will greet you and it supports event driven automations also 
Mm, yeah, so these are the things I got in these three tools. Okay. Mm. Sorry, next yeah. one. Could you please explain how do Ansible corporate install stack handle security and how compliance requirements in configuration management? Yeah, when it comes to security and compliance, uh, you know, it's a, a very important part in any project. Okay. Uh, when it comes to Ansible, right, it provides an you know, encrypted data transmission. Also, we have a R back concept, is a role based access control. So, when it's encrypted, when the R back is there, by default, it became secured and you know, compliance standard. So, when it comes to Puppet, right, uh, so we are having a security policies available here. Okay to ensure the compliance and regulatory standards. Okay, we need to ensure uh, that security policies are in place. So whereas uh, salt stack, right, uh, it uses a secure communication. By the way, when you have a salt stack, we'll be calling it as the master and the minions. The, 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 the Spock servers are calling it as a minions, by the way. Okay, so this uh, master to minion communication always through going through the secure channel. Okay. So uh, we can even integrate any of these tools, right? We can even integrate with any security scanning tools also. There are options are there. So by this way, right, we will ensure the security and the, the you know, data transmission between master to, you know, agent, that things, you know, uh, happening. Okay. This is the industry standard. Good question, by the way. Okay. Next one, Ravi. Can you provide examples of yes, industries or use cases where Ansible, corporate, and source stack are commonly used for configuration management? Hmm. Okay. Um, coming to Ansible, it's commonly you know used in the industries like um, IT and finance-based uh, organizations and uh, uh, healthcare for automating an application deployment. Okay. So on the infrastructure management, you know they are using. Ansible and coming to uh, Puppet, um, frequently you know they are using a Puppet in industries like uh, technological industries and educational industries, uh, even government based sector. Okay, so for managing a large scale IT infra. Okay, so these things and coming to salt stack. Um, actually, you know, salt stack is popular in industries uh, like uh, telecommunication, e commerce applications. Okay, so on medias for managing cloud infra and uh, orchestration workflows. Okay, so orchestration complex workflows. You know, they in that kind of you know areas, people using salt stack. Okay, so these are the areas. Okay, these are the examples for commonly used for application management, right? Okay. Mm, yes, okay. these are the areas. Mm, yes, okay. areas and use cases. The next one, Hari, uh, could you please explain how do Ansible, Puppet, and Salt Stack compare in terms of community and support and ecosystem? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> when we are prefer to go with any tool, always everybody will expect for the support. Okay, community support and ecosystem. How many of them using? What is the uh, community background? All those things are, you know usual yeah uh, when come to ansible right so lots of people are using ansible nowadays okay so there are lots of uh, you know pre-built uh, playbooks and roles are available in the internet okay also they have ansible galaxy from there also we can pick so in that perspective right uh no doubt about ansible when then come to a community support and uh, ecosystem whereas puppet also not you know um uh when comparing ansible it's giving equal tough uh, there are strong community available okay uh, lots of you know ecosystem modules uh, many other third party integration also available okay so that also has strong fight to giving strong fight to ansible uh, salt stack right uh, smaller uh, compare ansible and puppet even some people not even aware about salt stack yeah smaller community uh, but yes uh, uh, we do have a limited documentation and the support available in the open public internet as well. So that's the difference between these three. Okay. 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन रवि कुड यू प्लीज शेयर योर फीडबैक व्हाट आर द की कंसीडरेशंस फॉर सेलेक्टिंग द बेस्ट कॉन्फिगरेशन मैनेजमेंट टूल फॉर एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन 2024 ओके सो की कंसीडरेशन ओके फाइन अ a key consideration means uh, we have to pick you know uh, we have to consider some things uh, in these areas to find which tool is better sorry which tool is good in 2024 okay so first thing is which one is easy to use that we need to check um after that uh, scalability and then compatibility with uh, you know existing resources existing existing resources or infrastructure okay so these three things you know we need to consider and support for our automations okay so it's supporting automation or not that one we need to check um after that uh, to work with the orchestration areas and uh, which one gives more security features and uh, where are we getting the sorry which one providing the proper community support okay so these are the things we need to consider yeah okay so i think uh, these are the key consideration Okay, fine. I think we are done very well. The so, Hari, uh, please share your input for conclusion. Yeah, conclusion part. Yes, I, of course. Uh, the questions are really nice. A deep appreciation to you. Yeah, people, you know, who are watching this video, if you need any uh, discussion like that into any specific tool, I would recommend all of you to comment it. So we'll prepare and we'll make some dedicated video for your requirement. Okay. Uh, end of day, if you guys get benefited, right? That's more than enough for us. Uh, yes, simply watching is not enough because people who are watching, right, are not subscribing. I can see it in the analytics. Go ahead and uh, subscribe this channel, share with your friends. So that way, right, which will motivate us to make further more videos. Okay, it's almost three to four people's effort actually. So that's the reason. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching it. So we'll come back uh, with a uh, few other interesting and uh, really worth and useful videos. uh keep uh, on you know coming to you on uh, upcoming days let's wait and watch thank you all take care bye bye